Welcome to The Compass, your Student Inquiry Centre. This is a central place you can visit with any questions you have about student life during your time at King's. It's on Level B1, McAdam Building, at the Strand Campus. There are a variety of services offered here. You can get letters to confirm you are a King's student, to open a bank account or to submit with a visa application. You can also come here to pay your accommodation or tuition fees by cheque. If you've lost your ID card, we can give you a new one. A full list of the services is on the Compass website. The front desks at the Compass are staffed by undergraduate, graduate and international support officers. You can come and ask any question about student life and if they can't answer it, they'll help you find the specialists who can. Different specialist services like student advice, the graduate school, student funding and the disability support team regularly hold drop-in sessions at the Compass. Check the website for details. If you have a couple of hours to spare in between lectures and you want to get some reading done, there is also a study for you to use. We have wireless access and internet kiosks so that you can check your emails or access e-journals. The Compass is here to help you throughout your time at King's, so please get in touch. Hi, would you like to take a seat? I'm looking for a quiet place to study. Is there anywhere specifically for graduate students? Yeah, there's a graduate only space in the Morn Library and also the Franklin Wilkins building. Mm -hmm. There's a graduate zone there which is swipe access only and has uh, pause computer rooms. Okay. Um, your school and department might also have some graduate only space. And then if you're looking for some more informal space, there's a graduate lounge as well. Hi, you right? Hey, um, I'm looking for some help getting started writing my PhD. Ah, there are some brochures about it. In the Graduate School, we provide support for PhD students here at King's. One of the things that we do is to run a programme of training courses called the Researcher Development Programme. This programme consists of over 200 training and development um, activities and uh, courses for PhD students during the course of the academic year, covering aspects such as starting your PhD, uh, working with your supervisor, uh, writing up your thesis, preparing for the viva, amongst other courses such as time management, um, how to deal with stress, um, how to cope with difficult people, um, and a variety of, of opportunities for students to develop important transferable and generic skills which will help them once they leave the university to get a better job. Um, we provide uh, a lot of information on the graduate school web pages under the researcher development program link on the left hand side of the page when you view it and we also have an online course booking system um, and there are links available to that via our web pages. We've also provided contact details so do get in touch if you've got any queries. Hey, I'm really worried about something and it's affecting my studies. Is there anyone I can speak to in confidence? Yes, there is. Um, we have counselling service here um, who will be able to talk through your problems with you. We also, I mean, if it's a, something to do with your um, studies and it's affecting your studies, you can speak to your personal tutor. Um, the counselling service is on the third floor of this building. Uh, if you wanted to make an appointment, um, you'd need to fill in a form first. The forms are obtainable from the website or you can um, get a form from the health centre. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Stevie Griffiths, Deputy Head of Counselling. The most important thing to know is that the service is free and totally confidential. All students at some point in their lives experience difficulty, whether with study, settling into London, or with deeper, more personal issues. If it feels you'd benefit from talking to someone, do contact us. We're available on all the main campuses, and our team comprises male and female counsellors, psychologists, and group analysts. We also have a psychiatrist in our team. Throughout the year, we'll be offering focus-based groups, such as self-esteem and exam anxiety. So please check our website. Hiya. 
Hi, um, I think I may be dyslexic. Where can I find help? Right, well, you'll need to talk to someone in the disability support team, which is part of the Equality and Diversity Department. They can go through any financial support, um, study support that you may need, and also talk you through an assessment that you may um, need to take. So there is someone available today if you'd like to see someone now. They have a drop-in session here. Um, or if you'd like, we can book you an appointment for another day or time. Today would be good. Yeah, brilliant. There's a drop-in session just through the other room over there. Okay. So if you just go and have a seat in the waiting area, someone will see you as soon as they can. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, I'm Marianne from the Equality and Diversity team. How can I help? I think I might be dyslexic and want a little bit more information. I'm not sure what to do next. Okay, well the first step is for us to have a screening interview. Then if we think there's reason for you to have a full assessment, then I can refer you to an educational psychologist. They will do a full assessment on your learning profile and produce an extensive report. We can then get back together and discuss the report in detail, explain what it says and help you to understand your strengths and weaknesses. Then we can recommend ways forward. So that might be applying for funding, for equipment and support. The Disabled Student Allowance is government provided fund for students with dyslexia and other disabilities. So that support might include a computer or a laptop with assistive software mm -hmm. such as spell checkers, text-to-speech facilities and you may also get support from a dyslexia tutor for one-to-one -one study skills sessions. Mm -hmm. okay. If you're an EU or international student we've got an in a separate international fund for equipment and support as well and we can discuss that too. All our discussions are kept confidential, but if you would like us to inform other members of the college, for example your personal mm. tutor, then we can help you to do that. Um, I also having another problem. I think I'm being picked on because of my coursework and I'm not really sure what to do. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. The college does have a policy on discrimination and the policy is found on the webpage under mm. the policy zone. It protects students from incidences of discrimination, bullying and harassment. Uh, any action taken will only be done with your consent unless it puts you or anyone else in danger.